Hey, are you that guy from YouTube, uh, like Big Nick or something? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Nice to meet you, man. Dude, I, I was literally watching your video on Elon Musk exposing him today. That's dope, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Yeah, man, it was really great how you were talking about how he's making, like, satanic technology and stuff. And... Wait a sec. Are you driving a Tesla right now? Uh... Oh, dude, look! One dollar off tacos! Wow, that was awkward. At least that was just one human interaction and my subscribers don't know that I actually drive a Tesla as well. Um, oh... Hey. <laughs> you didn't hear that. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Elon Musk has just implanted his Neuralink brain chip in a human being, but the darker agenda behind this will give you chills. Elon Musk first broke the news on his Twitter account stating that the first human being had received their brain implant and is recovering well. However, many people felt uneasy about this announcement, citing fears that this technology could be used for diabolical reasons. While Musk has often tried to portray this as a positive advancement towards society, the real motivation behind this is utterly satanic. This is called transhumanism, which is the belief or theory that the human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations, especially by means of science and technology. The Luciferian elite have long awaited for this moment because the ulterior sinister motive with merging man with machine is the final act of rebellion towards God. Transhumanistic technology promises a future of escaping death by manipulating the genetics of a human being with artificial intelligence. This is the same lie that the devil told Eve in the Garden of Eden promising that she wouldn't die and that she would be like God. Genesis 3, 4-5 says, Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. This demonic revolution is known as the Fourth Industrial Revolution and high-ranking elitists at the World Economic Economic Forum have been salivating for this agenda to finally take place. And it's happening. Now, officially. Many popular transhumanistic advocates like Klaus Schwab, Noah Harari, and Henry Kissinger are all involved in secret occultic societies that are unified with their common hatred for Jesus Christ. These false prophets of our day and age reject the monotheistic God, but instead aspire to create a new secularistic faith centered around technological control. Genesis 127 says human beings are made in the image of God, so the agenda of the devil is to slowly strip away the image of God here on earth and replace it with his created technology as his final con conquest against humanity. Although Elon Musk claims to be the good guy fighting the corrupt elitist class, he is arguably in the same boat as them. Speaking of the elitist class, I mentioned earlier one of the transhumanistic advocates that goes by the name of Noah Yuval Harari. He has been one of the elite's chosen frontrunner public figures trying to convert the world into his demonic religion of merging man with machine, way before Elon Musk attempted to do so. I mean, I know the Bible says, call no man father but your father above, but... This guy's basically Elon's daddy. In this interview, he reveals his utter hatred for humans having free will from God and also refers to humans as hackable animals. We need to reinvent democracy for this new era in which humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will. That's over. That's over. That's over? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ, you demon. You can clearly see what the true sinister nature of this movement is behind the propaganda that they push about how this technology will be better for improving humanity. The plan is the exact opposite just like we saw in that video. Satan is rising up his disciples to enslave humanity completely, not just spiritually, but also physically. You see, with God, it's different. He's a loving God that gives humanity free will and allows them to go on whatever path they choose while they're here on earth. Now, obviously, there are consequences for that or benefits for that in the afterlife, but at the end of the day, they still chose those benefits or consequences. However, the devil is completely anti-free will, and not only does he desire for the human soul to be enslaved in hellfire for eternity, but even while a human being is still on this earth, there's still this sinister craving to completely enslave them. Just think about how psycho the enemy really is. He already has most of the world enslaved spiritually, with billions of people unsaved probably walking around with demons inside of them. But that still isn't enough. He now demands a physical manifestation of that enslavement too. Like, dog, you need to get a job. Oh wait, he has a job. He just doesn't get paid for it. <laughs> 
So it's really an internship. Even secular people have found the Elon Musk Neuralink fiasco very horrifying because every human, whether they're Christian or not Christian, can still deep down inside discern true satanic evil. Agendas always start this way though. The first day it's a plan to help humans and better humanity. Oh, this person that was paralyzed now has a brain chip in them and they can walk. Yay, guys, we're so philanthropic. We're saving the world. I mean, that's how it is, right? They got to package it that way. A wolf in sheep's clothing. But then the slippery slope comes along and all of a sudden what was once packaged as the savior mentality of helping people has now quickly transgressed into what Noah Yuval Harari's vision was of actually enslaving humans the whole time. You have to realize that practically today, we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale. Don't think for a second that Elon Musk and Noah Yuval Harari are not on the same team. The good cop, bad cop tactic doesn't just get played out in an interrogation room. You would think that these sci-fi movies would teach people a valuable lesson about how once you really start messing with robots and AI, all of a sudden they want to kill you and enslave you. But all it really did was program them into thinking that the agenda of the elite was some awesome fictitious tale that is really present on their doorstep. I mean, now it's literally delivered to you like a package. So what are we going to do? Are we going to brush it to the side? Or are we going to use this as a time to realize that Jesus Christ is coming back soon? And there is tangible present evil in this world that seeks to dominate us. And that is the devil and his demons. But if that demonic technology exists, then so does God. And these are times right now where we really got to seek Jesus Christ because it's only 2024 and we already got brain chips in people. That's pretty crazy. Like what's gonna happen in 2025? Is the whole world gonna end? I still haven't even got to try all my favorite barbecue spots yet. And I just had my first beef rib like a couple days ago. I wanna eat more beef rib before the world gets destroyed. <laughs> Is that cool, Yahweh? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. If you guys wanna watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys wanna subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Wash from all my sins and now I'm clean. My soul was almost lost, he intervened, oh yeah. Now I'm stepping